Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Libra versus Scorpio. New Zion in opposition to New Egypt. Brothers and sisters, I always thought if the end times are manifesting on earth, then the Lord will have also placed them as the signs in the heavens for us to see them for a long time. And so yesterday I was going through Stellarium and when I came to this, the, the constellation of Libra and Antares, I said, oh yes, of course, this is what you were missing. When you look at Libra and, and what Libra represents, not only judgments, but also the, the sheepfold, the ones where the people are gathered together in the different ruptures, in the escape, in the rupture of the church, and then in the middle of the trumpet, another rupture that will happen. So the three ruptures that we know. And these are also the representation of Libra. But when you look at the sign that the world has chosen to represent Libra, it has an omega inside. And we know that our Lord and Savior is the Alpha and the Omega. And he will come with Mount Zion, and there the rapture will be to it. So he is the representation of the sheepfold, the kingdom of God. And that what I see, the sheepfold, where we will gather the people out of New Egypt and bringing them into New Zion, that is the sheepfold, that is Libra. So Libra is represented in the heavens for all eternity as New Zion. And in opposition stands Scorpio, Scorpius, the scorpion, the one with the stinger, that is the one that is coming to attack. As you see here in the image, you see it's coming to attack New Zion. It's standing in opposition to it. This is a world of bondage, of suffering, of slavery, of pain, of darkness. Many of the scorpions are, have the color black. And we, we know about the scorpions coming forth out of the abyss to sting the people for, for a certain time period. So we know that this side of Scorpio is related to the underworld, is related to the darkness, is related to New Egypt, to the bondage and slavery time frame that is coming. So we see in the heavens a declaration from the Lord where he has placed our destiny already forever in the sky with Libra for New Zion and Scorpio for New Egypt. But that's not all. Look what is above. Above you only see the part of the legs. That is the serpent bearer. That is the one who will take the snake by the head, who will come in to rescue, to stand in the gap. That's the reason why he's standing there in the middle between Scorpio and Libra. The ones that, that, that that coming in, the warriors of the heavenly remnant army, they are coming in to take the snake by the head to rescue, to rescue the lost sheep, the white sheep, and to take them into Libra, to take them into New Zion. This is our destiny, placed there into, this, into the sky. You remember the hype of the people who follow the the bad side of astrology and there was a hype i don't know two years a few years ago about oh yes we have to put in the 13th uh, astrological sign and whatever they made a lot of fuss about that one but what was this sign and why give us a hint they say oh the 13th science is Ophicius. that is the serpent bearer that is what you see standing in the middle it just came up two years i think ago when the astrological community said we have to bring in the 13th signs. That's a time when we were called into our army. Brothers and sisters, how amazing is all this? You are placed in the heavens forever. Your destiny is being seen in the sky. You will handle the snake, the serpent. You will stand against the evil flood, against Satan. And you will rescue the people and take them from Scorpio, New Egypt, to Libra, New Zion. You see it in the sky, and this is all about that. And what do you think where, where our Lord and Savior will be seen in the next months after the 40 days? Where? In Libra. 
when you look at Stellarium, he will be there. Also, we know that in the beginning, Venus was the sign for, for Satan. But because he was removed from Greece, Venus became also the sign for Jesus. So Jesus is Jupiter and Venus at the same time right now for this uh, moment in time. So Venus will be standing in Libra next month. So we see, we are aware. It's coming out of 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 of, um, of Virgo from the woman be born be born as a sign this month the 40 days and then it will go into Libra what is his place as the Omega coming for the end times standing in New Zion together with us and then the war will start in November wow and you, brothers and sisters, how amazing it is. New Zion is pictured in the heavens. New Egypt is, is, is pictured there. And also the warrior remnant army of New Zion is standing there in the middle, in the gap for the people, wrestling with, with Satan and his minions, with the snake taken by the head to rescue, to rescue the white sheep and to take them to New Zion. Brothers and sisters, this should bless you. Your destiny is even for all eternity to be seen in the skies. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.